guys, welcome to the channel. We're at Volkswagen. We're gonna review today the Volkswagen Caddy or Caddy, whatever you call it, in the country. We're gonna see the high line and then we're gonna go to the all track. So let's get into the review. After a few cool shots, gonna dig in. We have here nice leather. This is plastic, robust chrome handle lock and lock and mirror controls you have heated mirrors have manual seats now this is leather seats with Alcantara you know, pretty nice seats as you can see you can see the back we back up so you can see the amount of space now on the back you have place here like a table I'm gonna get back in just in a minute let's get on the front have big doors nice closing sound we have three spoke steering wheel standard Volkswagen with the commands for cruise control phone voice commands and the menu inside now this is a color screen this is a standard Volkswagen gauge cluster you have your lights here chrome brightness for the gauge cluster and lights now you have here interesting uh this is in color of the vehicle as well over here the vents are on top the ac is on the top and the touch screen is on the bottom it's a little weird probably should have been the opposite but uh that's it is what it is now this is interesting as you can see here this is the way you close the vent this is the way you open it i guess an interesting solution on the top you have a compartment here there's like soft cloth here um, this vehicle is sold so we're trying to be gentle here you have a compartment it's pretty deep as you can see it goes all the way down now you do have an AC over here uh, no CD CD goes over here as the card you have here parking sensors on the bottom uh, this car probably has a parking aid and you have auto off. You have here a place for your phone, <clears throat> aux, USB, 12 watt charger. Now this is DSG, so standard park, reverse, neutral, drive. And you have here cup holders, manual parking brake. You have a nice armrest that is extendable, has levels as well. There is some storage inside, this is just plastic for some sort of book or something I have a USB over here for charging as well and that's pretty much it uh, this is this door uh, on the top you have a mirror you have your classic light switches here big light for reading you have big shades um, you have a privacy mirror no light on the top so this is pretty much block the sun uh, on the top you have this huge space and let's head on the back uh, speakers wise you have a big speaker over here you have a speaker over here as well uh, there is a light sensor over there as you can see um, you have a pretty nice view this is sort of my eye line there's no blind spots when you turn around uh, when you look at the back now let's move on the back of the car now I have adjusted the seat for myself, uh, it is a little bit knee issue if you're a tall person. Uh, the third seat is also for another person, this tunnel is not so high so I can sit over here as well. I am pretty comfortable, even have even more room for my knees. Uh, this table is a bit on the way, stealing the space. Now you have an AC on the back, you have a 12 watt charger and you have a this cup holder so it's pretty convenient over here you can open like this the door or just close it now you have a here's some space now I guess you have to pull it and you know close it now as you can see a lot of space on the top now I have to get out 
it's quite difficult when you're holding the camera. Now you have uh, child locks here as well. These seats are pretty comfortable. I uh, wish there was a bit more space to tilt them on the back. Now if you pull this, the seats should knock down, but I'm using only one hand. Here is the seat belt. Now there are controls here, but it's kind of difficult using them then with one hand I'm supposed to pull the seat so let me just show you this is the back you have a steel frame here uh, with this steel uh, like a net that holds the cargo on the back so these seats are together that is separated let's get on the back show you now you can lower this and you can put this up as well but it's complicated with one hand so I'm gonna skip this he's gonna excuse me you have tinted windows on the back now this is pretty big door it goes up it's not like to divide the doors now this is a pretty big large space area for your cargo I guess there's an option so you can have two more seats because there's a cup holder here, there's a speaker on the back here, both sides. Um, there's this compartment, I'm not gonna open it, maybe for first aid. This is flat, so there isn't spare tire. Um, you have this points to put a net or something here, and this is pretty much a flat bottom, so it's practical. You do have this shutter, so you can hide your cargo in the back also convenient if you have a large pet have a large dog you can transport it now over here you have a standard light as well and I forgot to show there are some hooks over there also on the front for the passengers that's pretty much it let's go to the pull here and close this of course you have an LED lights on your plates now there's some chrome on this model. Um, not sure if you can see the pipe or not. It is interesting. You can see these alley wheels are in the color of the vehicle. It's pretty interesting. You have parking sensors. This is a fully specced uh, Volkswagen Caddy. So now we're gonna head to the uh, Alltrack van. Now this has a bit different uh, bumper. Um, little this aluminium on the, on the bottom now this has different wheels I'm sorry for the huge Sun you have aluminium on the bottom as well it is a bit lifted up it is a bit taller on the back similar bumper as you can see there is more ground clearance now on the back it is pretty much the same maybe forgot to mention this we're not gonna open it now let's just show you the, the, the things that are different now you have cloth seats as you can see here pretty much all is the same on the front you get pretty much also the same you get this aluminium like sportish uh, paddles now this is a manual these are the seats now this is kind of soft material it's pretty nice you have all track logo here and it's pretty much the same you have this different pattern here uh, it's kind of different in the doors now this model doesn't have colored screen in the middle you have a six-speed manual and Volkswagen reverse is obviously down in first gear really nice feels nice in the hand and the rest is pretty much standard here. Also same compartment, same everything. And it's pretty much it guys. I hope you like this comparison. Please consider giving this video a like. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more Volkswagen cars. I pretty much done all the cars and I'll see you in the next video.